Hello Cancer, my dear Cancerians. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. So Cancer, wasn't that a nice split? Look at that. We got the King and Queen of Pentacles in your split. We are going to see what your story is. What is your story? Because I'm nosy and I know. And by doing that, I can give you some guidance, right? It's a win-win. It's a win-win. Oh my goodness, my deck. This is my oldest deck. This is, let me flip it this way. Um, the original deck that I taught myself tarot on. It shuffles a little slow because the card stock has gotten a little thick. <clears throat> and let's see here, Cancer. Cancer's story. What is Cancer's story right now? What is Cancer's story? What does Cancer need to hear about? Ah, rebirth, wow. Burdens. This is perfect. I need six cards and I keep getting six cards. Well, except Taurus. Theirs was different. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. The three of cups is at the bottom, so having a really good time. Having fun, going out and having fun. That's a nice underlying energy. Having fun with like-minded like people. Um, I like to call them kindred spirits. It's kind of like that word that was more popular than soulmates. And I think kindred spirits kind of like, soulmates, you know, can come in so many different forms. They can be friends too, but it's often like it's just a romantic connection. But no, it's like that kindred spirit energy. Like someone that you, you have similar likes and dislikes um, you share share a lot of things together. So what we have here, I'm going to show you them two at a time. We have the Judgment and the Four of Wands. Wow, it's a nice combination. And then we have the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Wow, you have two tens here. Two big things coming to an end. Two big things coming to an end, something being reborn, basically. Yeah, so the judgment and the four of wands are some sort of new beginning and some sort of, well, kindred spirit, soulmate connection, some sort of rebirth here in that, making the choice to do it. Mm, there's a possibility too like it kind of coming from nothing into something because coming out of this pot it's a little bit phoenix like energy the judgment card in this one it's a little bit like phoenix like energy um it's being willing to rise up and try something right like try life try a cycle let's see what this is and with the four of wands are celebrating their partnership these are two that would celebrate each other that find joy and happiness in each other and then we go into the Queen of Wands, and it's releasing the Ten of Wands. There's a lot of fire here, at least in this little section. This little section here, we have a lot of fire. Um, a lot of passion and desire is sitting in this energy, and there's a lot of passion. It's, this, it's kind of funny, because with the Queen of Wands, with the Ten of Wands, it feels like a lot of passion and desire, like just needing, almost like a burden of it, needing to release it, needing to express it. Um, there is some sort of truth here, possibly too, with a Ten of Swords, that it needs to be expressed. But, like this burden needs to be dropped. And what I like is because the Queen of Wands is holding one wand. So dropping this and somehow, dropping whatever this burden is, dropping this burden, it puts uh, you into a very dynamic energy. <clears throat> A very um, self-confident energy too with the Queen of Wands. She's got all the confidence in the world. The Seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You know, having an awful lot of options maybe. A lot of options. A lot of ideas, possibilities, fantasies. It's coming to an end. And I don't know because if it's this. See, I've been inclined to read this way. I haven't been doing it all week. But this one is a little bit like that. 
But I'm going to go there anyways because I want to see what your Ten of Swords is. You know, the Ten of Wands is often dropping a burden, like dropping something here so that you can move forward with a new beginning. The Ten of Swords is an ending in some sort of truth that you knew about yourself or someone else or a situation. How you saw yourself in that, how you saw someone else, right? Because the Seven of Cups is here, there might have been a lot of fantasy, a lot of uh, plain ideas out in your mind in the end of that. What is this Ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords. Wow, the Empress wanted to come out sure to the bottom. The Seven of Pentacles to the Empress card is the Ten of Swords. It's kind of like, you know what, it's a seven. It's another seven. We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Seven of Pentacles sitting here. It's the, it's really the end of dreaming, fantasizing, trying to figure out choices and options and strategies here. It's the end of that. And the Empress is something that you would covet. Like I would say that the Empress energy is something that you would covet. Tell us more about the Empress. Tell us more about the Empress for Cancer. More about the Empress for Cancer. Yeah, it is. It's something you were looking for and wanting. It's something that you were looking for and wanting and reaching out to as well. Taking a cup, right? Like that's what this is. There's so many cups. How do you do this? What is the choice? How should I make this choice? How should I make it happen too? With the Seven of Pentacles. Trying to figure out a strategy and approach here. And then finally having a cup. So it's the end of that long struggle. The Ten of Wands, there's um, some sort of burden here that needs to be dropped. The Ten of Wands. Ooh. The King of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Devil. <laughs> that's a burden. That's a heavy burden. Wow. There's. Interesting, like on either side of looking out for your ship to come in. <laughs> looking out. Looking out over the horizon. Knowing that something is coming in for you on either side of that energy is a lot of feeling and emotion, but also a lot of passion, like almost feeling trapped though too. Almost feeling trapped in this, having these deep feelings and emotions and looking out for this ship, like maybe not being able to take action towards what it is that you have all these really deep feelings and emotions towards. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands for Cancer, the Queen of Wands for Cancer. The Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Walking away from something in the past here. Releasing yourself from some sort of difficult energy, but moving forward very slowly. Moving forward very slowly to gain balance. Possibly too, like to gain balance, because this is leading into a Nine of Pentacles. Like almost like to gain balance in finances and um, your own stability and independence here. Because the Queen of, Queen of Wands is very, also very like independent, very independent, very um, sexy, dynamic, fiery, passionate energy. And the Nine of Pentacles is often like, you know, very beautiful. Yeah, there's something here too that I want to say that you find very beautiful with the Empress, the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. I see beauty inside of someone. The outside of someone, maybe both because you have the King of Cups here. But there's been a slow process to um, bringing like this harmony into a situation towards something that you have a strong, you feel strongly about. So the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands for Cancer, 
The Four of Wands for Cancer. <clears throat> so you got the Four of Wands again, but then you get the Queen of Swords. It's interesting. Because it's like it was rebirthed. But the Queen of Swords can kind of cut stuff out. Perhaps you were in a connection before and you cut it out because you walked away from something here. You walked away from something with this Five of Swords and it was a very slow progression towards this independence. Maybe you're the beautiful thing now, Cancer. Maybe you're the beautiful thing. And the Nine of Pentacles is also single. This is a single energy. This person is on their own, right? This person kind of has everything set up. They, Their next step, really, if they choose to move, continue to move forward, would be the Ten of Pentacles when you're in the Nine of Pentacles. But this looks like some sort of um, past kindred spirit soulmate connection that has ended with the Queen of Swords here. And with the Judgment card sitting beside it, it's like this might have been a, a repeat cycle. I just kind of getting the message of um, like trying multiple times to make this relationship work. Separating, coming back together again. Separating, coming back together again. Separating, coming back together again. And then with the Queen of Swords and then the Five of Swords, it's kind of like, yeah, that that's it. It's like there was finally some sort of cutoff here. And then it took time, but there was a plan because the Knight of Pentacles always has a plan even though it's slow. And you've achieved it here. You've definitely achieved it. So let's just double check the judgment. Clarification for this judgment card. Clarification for the judgment. Yeah, it wasn't... Um, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Moon. It does kind of feel like that. It feels like, you know, this... This rebirth and whatever this connection was, it was stagnant and it was a burden and there was a lot of unknown. Unknown isn't necessarily bad, but where the cards that it's sitting with are heavy. The cards that it's sitting with are kind of heavy. The death card is at the end. Oh, but you know what? I didn't tell you. I want to clarify your seven of cups. I didn't do that. We didn't clarify the Seven of Cups. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Clarification for the Seven of Cups. Clarification for the Seven of Cups. Ooh, wow, that's pretty strong. The King of Wands and the Emperor. Ah! Look at that, right? The Emperor and the Empress are sitting right here, and the King and Queen of Wands are right here. It's... Really, it almost looks like you've walked away from a relationship that was struggling for a while. Trying to rebirth it. Trying to bring it back to life. Not working. It's a burden. It's still stagnant. There's so much unknown about this. And then eventually just cutting it out. And moving forward. And here, having this, this dream of wanting like a real counterpart here. Wanting something that is, that's really, its energy matches your energy very, very well. Its energy matches your energy very, very well. The Five of Pentacles is at the bottom. I'm sure that took place at some point along this story, my goodness. But look at, we're replacing that, right? Like you're replacing that. You're replacing the Five of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. So we're going to go to an Archangel card for you. We're going to go into the deck and get a message for Cancer. A final message for Cancer from the Archangel deck. A final message from Cancer. Final message from Cancer. For Cancer. Isn't that so funny? Final message from Cancer. You want to give me a message? Yes. That's cute. Yeah, okay, guys, try to think of a message. You give me one and then I'll pull out one for you. Okay. This one is to me from you guys. Okay. What is it, Cancer? What is the message from Cancer? What is the message from Cancer? 
Okay, you guys gotta think about the same thing or a card's not gonna come out. Come on, be cohesive. There you go. What do you say? Spread your wings, Cindy. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go do that. Because I'm an Aries and the Aries reading was kind of like getting your mojo back. So I'll go soar. I'll spread my wings. So now the Archangels have a message for you. <laughs> So now this is the message to Cancer. Wow, see how fast that came out, see? Moon cycles, Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Well, that's an interesting card. I had read once that if you look into what the cycle of the moon was in when you were born, that's supposed to be a really powerful um, cycle of the moon for you in terms of manifesting things. But there's a lot of different things you could look into with the moon cycle and utilizing it. So there you go. That's your message. All right. Okay. That's a pretty interesting story, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to do your reading. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.